Woe to you, Cherizen! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the miracles had been performed in you, had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's dive into the Word. In today's Gospel, we see Jesus um, rebuking and denouncing uh, several cities. Uh, and those cities or towns were Cherizen and Bethsaida. Now, these two towns were Jewish towns uh, that Jesus had frequently visited to preach and teach and to also perform miracles and to perform his mighty deeds. They were also located north of where Jesus resided, which is Capernaum. Uh, but the question might be thinking, okay, why was Jesus so, um, so harsh to this, these people from these towns or these two towns specifically? Um, and, and, and towns that he spent much of his time. Why was he so harsh or why did he denounce uh, Cherizen, Bethsaida and also Capernaum? Now, the main reason is this, is because Jesus, um, despite him day in and day out, um, going there frequently to these towns and, and preaching and teaching, sharing um, the message that he wanted to share, uh, sharing that he was the savior of the world, the Messiah that, you know, the people had been longing for. Um, that he was also in their midst, God with us, um, despite him also performing miracles after miracles, transformation after transformation, healings after healings. There were people that still did not believe in him. There are many people that were unfazed, that were indifferent, disregarded who he was and did not believe in Jesus, did not believe in him and chose actively to not repent, uh, to not give up their sinful uh, ways and life. They saw him, they experienced him, but instead of accepting him, they disregarded him. And you can imagine Jesus' frustration because, hey, I'm going here day in, day out, telling you who I am, do, showing you as well. I'm not just talking about it, I'm showing uh, to you as well through the miracles. Yet you still uh, are in disbelief. Yet you still do not believe in me and disregard me. And so this message that Jesus is really sharing um, in the gospel today really echoes to, to us today as well. Because we, we are like those people at times um, from those towns where we, despite us, um, you know, growing up in the faith, uh, faithfully attending Sunday Mass, um, frequent, having frequent prayer lives, um, knowing and understanding the gospel, uh, be able to recite the Ten Commandments by heart, serving in many ministries uh, here in the church and parish, in our BECs, uh, also going through LSSs after LSSs after LSSs, going through all of that. But yet, despite us going through all that, we still, it still does not change us. It still does not transform us. We are still in disbelief of God. We still lack a, a faith. We are still unrepentant to our sinful lives, our sinful ways, our habits. We still actively choose to do things that Jesus has told us not to do and things hold on to things that bring us further and further away from God. Um, we're still very, very much comfortable in living a double life, in living a life that is complacent, status quo, uh, a life that is lukewarm. And so this is how it still echoes to us still today. Jesus' message from then, during that time and during that period, still echoes till today to us as well. But know that Jesus is calling um, calling us to for a higher calling, calling us for something more. But and sisters, the Lord is calling us to listen to Him, to understand Him, to understand His message, to believe in Him and His ways, and to follow Him. To follow Him by having a repentant heart, to follow Him by being transformed, to follow Him by letting go of our sinful ways, our, our past lives, and to follow 100% for God. The Lord is calling us for this higher calling. So, brothers and sisters, let us respond to this higher calling, this higher calling given to you and me, this higher calling uh, where we give our whole hearts, everything to Him, where we actively, day in and day out, daily, listen to Him, understand Him, believe in Him, and follow Him. Let, us be, let this be our response today, brothers and sisters. Our glory and praise to our God. God bless.